kama swearing Raila atakuwa swan in tarehe 12 Kenya itakuwa the same inchi haiwezi kuwa na viongozi wawili habari nzuri oh, okay Fresh push from religious leaders, diplomats and NASA allies to have Raila Odinga call of the planned swearing in has borne fruit. The swearing in of Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga and His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka as President and Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and the launch of the People's Assembly scheduled for Tuesday 12th December have been postponed to a later date. <laughs> The opposition coalition had planned that Raila Odinga be sworn in as Kenya's fifth president during Jamhuri Day. But voices against this plan appear to increase each passing day, with court to Secretary General Francis Atuli and Mombasa SEK Bishop Julius Kalu maintaining that the move was a recipe for chaos. <laughs> They have a call for dialogue between the government and the opposition to address grievances that emanated from the just concluded elections. NASA says their move is only temporary. Our resistance of dictatorship is resolute and irreversible. We remind the NASA fraternity to maintain our civic and economic resistance. There are only two options, democracy or self-determination. The coalition had picked Mamangina grounds in Mombasa for the purpose of swearing in Odinga on Tuesday and had planned to make the announcement at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Ahead of Tuesday, lots of uncertainty had clouded preparations for the events with the steering team unsure of whether to go ahead with the oath-taking given the absence of Kalonzo Musyoka, Raila Odinga's running mate in the last elections. Reports had also intimated that the coalition leadership and affiliates remained divided, with some suggesting that their swearing in be stopped. And with the diplomats and religious leaders pushing for talks between NASA and Jubilee, the Odinga team has its conditions for the talks. We wish to reiterate that any national dialogue must have electoral justice on the agenda. We are not interested in sharing illegitimate dictatorial power. On Saturday, President Uhuru Kenyatta said that he was not ready for talks on electoral reforms. And Oxycolia and TV.